Convert primitive to string. Primitive to string, we have parse the data type. Parse int, parse boolean, parse byte. Similar to that, we have this data type. To convert primitive to type, convert. Primitive to wrapper class. We have value of of primitive type. Taking argument as a primitive. Here it will pass int or pass boolean. These methods will take argument as a string. And it will return the primitive where type. This three is the major things we have to learn in the wrapper classes. Now all wrapper classes are immutable classes. In Java, all wrapper classes and string classes is immutable. Here, if you see, everything is methods. If you are also going to write any classes, you can write the classes with this, this kind of methods, public, static, int, percent. This is developed by the JDK developers. Similarly, whenever you are writing a code, you can write methods on variables only, everywhere. Now, this is one method. This is also method from the integer wrapper class. This is also developed by the JDK developers. Here, this method, what it is doing, public, static, string, return type is string, to string is a method name. If whenever they develop the method name, if a method is having multiple words, first word, first letter is a small letter, remaining all words having first letter is a capital letter, uppercase letter. As here, string is S is capital. Similarly, parse int. Parse int is two words. Parse is a first word. Method is starting with a small letter. In second word onwards, all other words is having starting, uh, starting word is a, starting character is a uppercase letter. Int here i is a capital case. Similarly, value of here o is upper case. This is a one. Uh, it's not mandatory to use like this, but uh, according to standards, we have to use like this. Now go to the immutable. What is immutable? We have a class. If you create object to the class, if you try to change any values to the attribute values to the object, whatever changes we are doing, the changes won't reflect in the object. Once we create object to the class, we cannot change the object. If you create object to the class, we cannot change object to object values. So we can call that class as immutable. Now we can take one example, then we can see. All the wrapper uh, classes, integer, write short, all wrapper classes, and string class are immutable in Java. This is important question.
we have a class once object created to the class we cannot change object attributes object attribute values of a class is called immutable <coughs> now we can take example and i'll explain <coughs> How class here? Insert class here. String S1. I have one attribute string S1. I have I am taking constructor of A with the argument as string S1. I am just initializing the constructor attribute. The class attribute. This dot S1 equal to S1. I'm taking main method. Insert the main method. I am creating object to the class A and I am using the class A object. There I'll create one method. Public static white test. A A1. Insert the test method of argument A A1. I want to change a1 dot s1 equal to xyz i'm just changing the value of object a1 now i'll create object to the a1 a a1 equal to new a i'm just taking the argument as a string type abc dot out dot print ln of I want to print a1 dot s1 see here I created object to the class a I'm just printing the value of class a it's not dot print on a1 dot s1 after that I want to call manager 3 dot test test of a1 after calling the test method i'm just printing the a1 dot s1 again now I just saved it here the class a is a mutable class if you create object to the class a if you pass the object to the any of the method inside the manager three class like here i am creating object to the class a in the manager three class i just created object to the class a i'm just printing the a1 dot s1 i'll get the output of abc because whenever i'm creating object i'm just giving the constructor argument as a string type abc so i'll get the abc here after that i'm calling the method manager three dot test of a1 here i'm just passing the a1 a1 object object is going to the test method Inside that uh, test method, I'm just changing the value of object of variable a1 dot s1 equal to xyz. So here, whenever an object is created, if you call, if you change the values of the object, the value is changing inside the object reference. So we can call that as a mutable object. Here, this is a class A is a mutable class. If you create object to the class, if you change the value to the attributes of the object, the values will change. In the memory that is called mutable class here the value will come as a xyz here this is called mutable control s control f11 for the running our code
now i got output as a b c x y z similarly now class a is mutable now we are discussing about all the primitive types we have wrapper classes for every primitive type all the wrapper classes are immutable integer i1 equal to new integer of 100 i have wrapper class object i1 so i will create one method public static white test of integer i1 insert this i1 equal to i1 plus 100 i am just changing the value i1 equal to i1 plus 100 in the test method of integer now here we have two test methods two test methods are having a different argument you can call this method test method is a overloaded but the type of the argument is different here the type is integer uh, type here the type is class a type so these two are different overloaded method now here manager 3 dot test of integer i'll call this i1 first i'll print here system dot out dot intel and of i1 this is whenever object is created i am printing the i1 value after printing the i1 value i am just calling the test method of integer argument to change the value this is a wrapper class we are just changing the wrapper class value similar to this a1 dot s1 equal to xyz similar to that i1 equal to i1 plus 100 we are just adding the 100 value there so even though if you change the value i'm just printing the i1 here again due to it is a immutable class integer is immutable the values whatever we change to the object it won't reflect in the object memory that is called immutable control s now i'll call this running this using this even though we change the value since it is immutable we are not uh, changes are not reflected there now i want to create a, my own class immutable class how to create immutable class how the uh, all the wrapper classes or string classes implemented in the jdk jdk development you can take one class which is immutable what all we have to follow for the immutable class we have to follow some rules to create the immutable class i'm just taking the class name as immutable See, once we create object to the class we cannot change values to the object of the class Whenever we are creating object to the class, we have to create object. If we change any attribute values, it should not reflect there. How to create a class? I'm just taking the variable as final string name, final int. number if you have any errors over there
we have errors here because we not initialize the final variable. I'm just creating constructor immutable. Just initializing the var variable values. I have final attributes inside of my class. I'm just initializing the variables in the public uh, immutable constructor, argumented constructor. This we know. Now, I'll provide only the getter methods to get the data. I'm not giving any setter methods to set the data. Public string get name return this dot name. Public int get number. Return this dot number. See, whenever we are creating object to the immutable class, I'm just creating immutable i equal to new immutable of. I'll give you two, two constructor attributes. First one is name and second one is number. I'm just providing the values, I'm creating object. Constructor will execute only once whenever you create object. It won't execute multiple times. So we are just creating the object, storing the values into the final variables. Now, what is a final? If you declare any variable as a final, once we declare the final variable, if you initialize the value, we cannot change the final value, variable values anywhere. Even though it is a default member, we can access the default members within the same package, but if it is a final, once we declare the final variable, if you initialize the final variable, we cannot change the final variable value. That I can see in, I can create one class. I'll try to create object to the immutable. Whenever I create the object to the immutable, I am just, I will just pass the values to the immutable uh, constructor with the two arguments. I'll create the object. After creating the object, I, I am able to get the variables of the immutable class. We are, we are able to get the values, but we are not able to set the values. Setting the values means just giving the, changing the value. We, we don't provide the setter methods, so we are not able to change the values to the, this variables. We have declared this as a final variable. Directly, if you want to change the object, immutable i equal to new immutable. Now the variable is i, the appearance is i. i dot name equal to, if you give any value, you cannot change the value because it is a final. Once the final, if you declare the variables as a final, you cannot change the values of the final uh, variables of a class. This is the way of developing immutable class. Control S. Now, I'll create one manager class to create object to the immutable class. Right click, new class. Manager for public static wire main int method. Inside manager class, immutable, immutable equal to new immutable of first argument is name. 
ABC second argument is number 100. I just created object to the immutable class. System dot out dot Intel enough. I provided only getter methods, get name. Age is number is immutable dot get number, but uh, name is immutable dot get name. Now I am able to get the values, but I am not able to set the values because we don't have immutable dot setter. Now I want to change the value directly. Immutable dot name equal to XYZ. This is not possible because the variable I declared as a final variable. If the variables are a final, whenever we declare the variable and uh, initialize a variable, we can initialize only once. We cannot change the variable value anywhere. That is called final, final speciality. If you want to declare any variable as a final, just declare the variable. The you what is the use of final variable? If you declare the variable as a final we can initialize the value only once we cannot change the value final is a constant if you give the value to the final we cannot change the value of the final this is also important for the final uh, final is important for the interview final variables once we initialize Cannot change the value. Now the question is, they will ask what is the difference between. Now we have not learned other other things. What is the difference between final and finally and finalize method? We can learn finally and finalize method in the next classes. But now we will learn about the final. This is an interview question. Most of the people will ask. Difference between final, finally, and finalize. We can learn more about the finally and finalize in next classes. Now we can learn about the final. Final is a constant. If you declare the variable as a final, If you declare the variable as a final, we can initialize the final variable only once. We cannot change the final variable value after initialization. Now we are in immutable. What is immutable? Once we create object to the immutable class, this is object creation is done. We cannot change the attribute values after creation of object. Now I'm not able to change the attribute values because the declared I declared the variables as a final, so we cannot change the variable values. And I don't have get a setter methods to set the value. That also we have done. Because we not provided setter methods, we have only the getter methods in the immutable class. Only we can get the data. We can't set the data. We can set the data only once. Whenever we create object to the immutable class, constructor will execute only once while creating the object. So we are setting the values only once. Now, we have a class immutable. Here we have option to inherit the, inherit the immutable class to the subclasses. Here we can create, I can create public class immutable one extends immutable we can create a subclass to immutable class and 
whatever members of the immutable class is there those members will go on to the immutable one class subclass there again we can create object to the subclass so we are providing the option to the creating subclass to the immutable class that is not uh, correct way uh, correct way means immutable means once object is created we cannot change the values of the object we cannot create subclass to the object uh, subclass to the immutable class that is the immutable functionality so i am making this class as a final if you make the class as a final we cannot extends the final class to the subclass we can restrict the others to extend this immutable class by making the class as a final if the class is a final we cannot inherit the class to the subclasses now in manager 4 now i created a mutable class i just printing the values i cannot change the values to the mutable class now i will create one class immutable immutable one extends of immutable the type immutable one cannot subclass to final class immutable here if you see the error is clearly telling the final classes we cannot inherit to the subclasses final class uh, class is a final we cannot inherit the class we cannot make the final class as a super class to any other class so we are restricting nobody can uh, inherit the members of a final class we are by declaring the class as a final that one restriction another one is we declared all variables as a final second one third one is we are not providing any setter methods we just provide the getter methods we initialize the members in the members of a class only once while creating object to the class by using these four points we can tell the class as immutable if there is somebody asking write a program for immutable class we can write a program to make a class as a final to declare all variables of a class as a final and create a one constructor argumented constructor whenever a, a constructor is calling object is created object is object is creating only once so constructor will call only once so initialize the all members in the constructor only once then create only getter methods don't create the setter methods so we are restricting the class to create object only once just use the object don't change the object variable values that is called immutable so we can't create the subclass to the final class now we we are learning uh, we learned about the what is immutable and we learned what is a final if a class is a final we cannot inherit the class to the subclasses that is final final related to the class if class uh, variable is a final we cannot once we initialize the variable value we cannot change the variable value that is uh, in case of final variables final methods that we can see by creating one example now this is immutable class if somebody ask what is immutable how to create immutable class once object is created we cannot change the object attribute values so the class we can call as immutable class for example we have all the wrapper classes as immutable classes and string class is immutable class and how to create immutable class your own immutable class we can create any class to make the class as a final and whatever attributes are there inside the class just declare the attributes as a final because whatever values we are initializing we can initialize only once we cannot change the attribute values after initialization then initialize the all attribute values in the constructor of a argumented constructor of a class so we are just restricting whenever object is created, whenever a constructor is calling we are initializing the values only once we are not calling the constructor multiple times to create the object and we created getter methods to get the data of the class we are not providing setter methods if setter methods means just setting the data 
so this is a immutable class now i go to manager 4 and i will execute this you'll get the output of the object variables name is abc number is 100 this is immutable we have seen the mutable also this is a class a is a mutable once object is created I'm just calling the print method of a1.s1. I'll get the value. I'm calling the test method. I'm just passing the a1 object. And I'm just calling the a1.s1. If the value got changed, because inside the test method of string, we are just changing the value. If you want to do the immutable class, whatever I created now, create object to the immutable class, provide the values, create one more test method, pass the immutable class as a reference argument to the test method overloaded method then change the value of the immutable class we can't able to change because all members are the final final attributes we cannot change that is called immutable so now this is immutable and we learned the final now in case of final we can learn what is the final methods new class manager 5 final also important but they will ask what is the difference between final finally and final edge final means in case of classes if class is a final we cannot inherit the class class b if class b is a final i cannot inherit the final class Class C extends B. This will give compiled error because B is a final class. In case of final, final, in case of classes, final class we cannot inherit to, to, to the subclass. I just remove this class as a final. Inside class B, I have method final why test you can see whether we can create final methods or not system dot out dot print ln of g test if you have a methods as a final we cannot inherit the final methods. In case of inheritance, we cannot inherit the final methods because the method is final. Here, if you see, we cannot override the final methods to the class B. Because the method is final, the method is only for the class B. We cannot inherit the final method method to the uh, method to the subclass now we have learned what is a final if final class we cannot inherit it to the subclass final method we cannot override the final methods to the subclass here we can call this is a overriding overriding the all members of superclass to the subclass b is a superclass we are just overriding the members to the subclass this is a very important concept of object oriented programming inheritance we already seen Inheritance means one class to one, one class. What is the relation between one class to another class? Class B is a superclass to the class C. Class C is a subclass to the class B. Whatever members are there inside the class B, we can inherit it to the class C. But final members we cannot inherit. This is not possible. This is giving compile time error here. Cannot override the final members. So I am just removing. Similarly, final variables. Final, final variable is declared in the class. We cannot change the value once the uh, declaration is done, initialization is done. We cannot change the final variable value after initialization is done. That is the final variable. Now we have seen all the final and we have seen the immutable. What is immutable? Now we'll go to the singleton. What is singleton? I'll take a class. Singleton, this is very important. What is singleton?
We have a class. <clears throat> For class, we can create multiple objects, but in case of singleton, we can allow them to create only one object. If you want to restrict the members to create only uh, objects to the class as a only one object, if you declare a class as a singleton, we can create only one object to the singleton class. Even though if you try to create multiple objects, you cannot create multiple objects to the singleton class. Object is only once. How to create only one object? How to make others to don't create multiple objects to the class? We can declare that we can define the class as a singleton class. can create a class which allows to create single object it won't allow to create multiple objects as As the normal classes is called singleton. Now, how to restrict members to should not create multiple objects? Public class singleton I'm just declaring, don't write the program now. You can write after that. For private static singleton. I just declared one variable, private static singleton variable. And now, I'm just restricting the others to should not create singleton object outside this class. So I'll make the uh, constructor as a private. To make the constructor as a pri private, private members we cannot access outside, outside the class. So I am not allowing them to create object to the singleton outside, the, out, outside this class. Here, private singleton. Now for our testing, I'll create private member, private string name, private int number. Insert private singleton, I have a constructor of arguments. This dot name equal to name. This dot number equal to number. By making the constructor as a private, 
we are not allowing anybody to create object outside this class we can create object inside this class only now i will provide one public method public singleton the method will return the singleton object get you can give any method but i am providing public singleton get instance where we can provide where they can provide the string name int number now here we are providing the method get instance to somebody call from the outside because this method is public if the method is public anybody from the outside outside means i will get manager 5 manager 6 manager 7 other classes from other classes if you want to access the singleton class members whatever members are public we can access outside whatever members are private these members we cannot access outside this members access only inside this class private members we can access inside the class so we are making the class attributes as a private we are making the constructor as a private so nobody other than the singleton class can create the constructor of this class so here <clears throat> if singleton equal to null now whenever object is created <clears throat> whenever static members are created i'm just declaring it as a null by default the object is as a stored as a null null is a for object default value is null this we have not seen till now but we have to remember for objects default value is null now if singleton equal to null we are just creating and returning the singleton object new singleton of name one number i am just creating object and sending back otherwise else system dot out dot print ln of object already created once we are not creating again just printing one sop object already created once we are not creating again then i am returning singleton here we should not return directly we have to assign this value to the singleton reference this is reference this is also one variable this is private member we can access here we can access and we can change the private member here i am not returning control z after the if condition if else condition we can return the finally singleton reference similar to the return type is string we have to return the string type if return type is singleton object this is object we have to return the singleton object only so i have variable singleton i am just returning a singleton variable here finally now if anybody is calling get instance method from outside i'll make the they are not able to access this member by creating object to the singleton class because the object is creation we can we can do only using the constructor so i can make this as a static a static member we can access using the class name anywhere singleton dot get instance of we can give the values if the object is already created it will give the same object if object is not created if it is null we are it is creating the object singleton of name comma number now if you want to print the members i can provide one method public void print of singleton this also i'll make as a static now 
system dot dot println similar to our previous program so i'm just printing the name equal to this dot name here we are not able to use this cannot use this in a static constant if it is a static we cannot use this we cannot use the directly also so how to get this members inside a static we cannot use the non static members we can provide the getter members as a public because even though it is single done update is created only once but we can provide the single getter methods public string get name return this dot name Public int get number. Return this dot number. By using getter methods, we can access the members of a class. So since it is a here, we don't need this method. Print method we cannot access. We are just providing getter methods. Whoever want to get the name. they can get by calling the getter method whoever want to get the number they can get by using the getter method now this class is a singleton whenever we call the constructor of the class we cannot call the constructor of the class because this constructor is a private we are only manually we are restricting them to should not call the constructor if they make the constructor as a public or default anybody outside can they, they can able to create object to the singleton class we are providing them to call a getter get instance method to create object to the singleton class get instance method return type is singleton this is a static method because non static members have a singleton if you want to access we have to create object to the non static uh, class we are not able to create object to the singleton class because it is a private so we are providing this as a static method in static method if the singleton is null singleton is a global variable if singleton is a null first time we are creating the object singleton equal to new singleton of name comma number if singleton is not null just printing system out or printl an object already created once we are not creating again then i am just returning the singleton and we provide other getter methods to get the data now this is called singleton i have created singleton i will create one manager class to get the singleton object when is the 6 public static void me i created when is the 6 i want to create singleton singleton equal to new singleton this is not possible because we cannot create object to the singleton class because all the constructors we have only one constructor argumented constructor that is a private if you declare the argumented constructor by default compiler won't provide the uh, no argument constructor if there is no any constructors compiler will provide the no argument constructor for the any class so we cannot use the no argument constructor we cannot use the argumented constructor how to create object to the singleton class we can create object to the singleton class by calling the singleton dot get instance of static public method here i am just providing the name as a abc 
number as a hundred. Now object is created and we are, we will get the object over here. Now I'll call system out intellen method to print the data. Here name equal to singleton dot get name. Get name getter method is public, so we can access the getter method. Now number equal to singleton dot get number. Now I want to create one more object. We can create any number of objects. Singleton two equal to, but we cannot create object directly by calling the constructor. By calling get instance method, we can call x, y, z. I'll give 200. Even though we create multiple objects, it will create only one object. Only the whatever values we provided first time, those values only will come. ABC 100 only will come. Even though if you create multiple times, it will provide the only single object. Now just call this, run this. Here if you see, name equal to ABC, number equal to 100. Object already created once, we are not creating again. Name equal to ABC, number equal to XYZ. Give slash n, it will go and print the next line. I'll print this multiple times, even though if you call multiple times, whenever we create multiple times, we have to change the attribute uh, value. Name should be different. I'm creating multiple objects, singleton, double two equal to singleton, double two, dot get name, singleton, double two, dot get name, age. Singleton, two, three, I created on more object. Singleton, two, three, dot get name, singleton, two, three. I create object of two, four, even though it created the object with the values x, y, z and 200 multiple times, we'll get the output as 100 and ABC only because object is created only once. Now this slash is not for printing in the next line. We have to give the forward slash. Now, whatever is there, this is a backward slash, use the forward slash. Control S, just click on this run method. If you see the output, we got the same output because this is a single object. We are provided the class as a singleton, so we can create only one object. Now, <clears throat> how to create singleton class? <clears throat> what are points over here? If you want to create a singleton class, just create a constructor as a private. This is the first point because we are not allowing the members to create this object to the singleton class outside the class. If you make that uh, constructor as a private, we are making we are making others to don't create the class object outside the class. And whatever members attributes are there inside the class, all members are private. And we can declare one private uh, static member as a singleton, same class type. Private static as a singleton, same class type variable. That variable will be declared as a null. And whatever method we are providing to create object, that method is a, just for example, we, we can take the get instance method. Get instance method is returning the same type, same class type, singleton type. This method is a static because 
to access the non static members we need to create object to the class but this is a static we cannot we no need to create the object to the class directly you can call the static member using the class name singleton dot get instance you can provide the at, uh, at arguments to the this get instance method by using that arguments if we are checking if singleton equal to null then we are just creating object to the class new singleton of name common null if singleton attribute already initialized with the value this is the initialization if second time if you are calling singleton dot get instance by providing xyz and this value 200 it will check singleton equal to null or not this is not null object is already created so it won't come to the if condition it will go to the else condition it will print object already created once we are not creating again then we are returning the same object so we'll get the 100 and x uh, abc only every time even though if you create an object by calling the get instance method multiple times in the manner the six even though we are calling this method multiple times object is created only once this object only created this same object is returning every time by printing the output as object already created we are not getting again this is called singleton now we can see in the next class for now just practice all this